Hey, what is up everybody? It's me, PS Freak 33 and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys is one of my favorite glitches in all of gaming, and believe it or not, it's not even on the Call of Duty series. It's actually on this game here called Killzone 3, and it's on the main campaign. And for those of you who are watching right now who have no idea what Killzone 3 is, or have ever played it, or anything, have no knowledge of it whatsoever, if you enjoy glitching, I recommend you still watch this, even though you have no idea what's going on, because I'm going to explain everything what's going on right now. Because this glitch will literally blow your mind. Like, just the sheer amazement of how this is even possible is just astonishing. So, just to get an understanding of what's going on here is, you're on campaign, and they want you to defeat this gigantic thing called the Mauler with these little wasp cannons right here. And you shoot at it. And basically, every time it fires its gun, you're supposed to shoot at these vents. But, um, and it has all these other guns. So... The thing is though, is they want you to just kind of chill in here, it's kind of boring, it's kind of chill in here inside the bunkers, because right now, this thing is actually outside the map right now, as you can see, like watch right here, there's a barrier all over here, I can't get out over to it, it is literally outside the map. So you can't even get close to anything, so, back in the day, this is probably why most of you haven't even probably seen this glitch at all, because we were the only ones that ever uploaded it back then, on our old channel called ps 3 when we had 10,000 subscribers back then. Um, we actually uploaded it less than two years ago, and me and Sono421, as you know him, me, ps 33 and him, Sono421, actually found a way, we came up with this idea, it was kind of almost a joke originally, we were like, what if we got outside the map and got on top of this thing? Kind of crazy you would think, right? Believe it or not, it's actually possible. The thing is real, you can get outside the map, and you can get on top of it, the top, top of its head. And now, I'm actually going to show you how this is actually possible. Because the first thing that comes to your mind is, can you even get outside the map? And we managed to pull that off. The second thing is, usually something that that is this large and this dynamic in games is usually not even possible to get on top of usually, right? And believe it or not, it's actually real. So what you're going to do is, when you have to kind of come back, back the way you came, you kind of have to come up here. This is where you came from. Come back up this way. Now the game, like the physics in Killzone 3 are a little messed up, not gonna lie, because you're about to see why. I can scale this 90 degree angle basically. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna go grab some ammo. I'll just skip forward the video. Okay, so as I was saying, now that I have my ammo, you can basically climb this wall that's pretty much 90 degrees up by just bashing the jump button over and over, just tapping as fast as quickly you can climb up this thing. Once you get to a certain height, you start making your way over to the right hand side, you'll land on a bit of a ledge where you can take a break. And then jump towards the corner and then jump again and you should land on top of this very thin wall. Do not walk over, you will fall under the map and then you'll die. So come on over here and then just take a big jump on over to this little wall here. Once you're on here, we're basically already outside the map now. This is all outside right here. To my left is where I was jumping at when I was showing you guys that we this thing is outside the map. So when we first got outside here, we were like, okay, now that we're outside the map, is this thing actually real or is this too just a crazy idea that we thought of? Because when we thought of the idea, we thought we were out of our mind to even think of this idea in the first place. So, like, basically what you have to do is come on over here, come to this pipe, and this pipe comes up. Now, as it fires its cannon, its foot goes flying backwards to the, like, left-hand side. As you can see, I'm trying to do that jumping method again, except the right here it didn't work this time. So, I'm trying to get back up, but its foot's in the way. Okay, so as it fires its gun, it moves its foot backwards, so I can get up here. And then, like, everything just works out perfectly. Like, me and Sono just sat back, studied it, trying to figure out how it moves, how we could use it in order to manipulate it into a way that we want in order to get on top of the whole thing. Because when we thought of this, we thought we were out of our minds thinking of this value in the first place. So as it, as it cools down, you notice how its foot rests again? It comes to a resting state where it kind of sinks into the ground more. Now, I can actually jump on it. Like, just keep bashing jump once I get to a certain height. Now I'm on top of its foot. Okay, so now this is where things get tricky and hopefully you have a lot of good balance because we're going to be going for a ride on this thing all over the place. It's going to start lifting us up everywhere. You're going to see it. It's pretty amazing how amazing this glitch is. It's just incredible how something of this size that is outside the map that's unreachable to even touch in the first place is actually completely real and you're actually able to get on top of this huge gigantic thing. Like the size of it, just look at it. It's just amazing how you seem possible. But um... Yeah, so now I'm going to try to shoot out one of its cooling vents, because it kind of progresses at each time you take out a cooling vent. So, take out its first cooling vent, see how it's one foot move? Okay, so now that's what's about to happen to us right now. We are now getting up, lift up for a ride, and you have to really find, I know the exact spots where to balance on these things now, otherwise it would be a lot harder to tell. It's kind of hard to see here, because I'm like inside the foot. 
But you can see now we're back on our way back over to the other side. You just gotta be really careful on balancing on this thing. Sometimes you kinda have to move all the place. And sometimes it might drop you like that as you can see kind of a, bit of a shake. But it's just one of my favorite glitches just because it's something that you just thought was impossible. Like we were just kind of joking like, okay, what about what if? Like just kind of making like what ifs out of nowhere. Like what if we got outside the map? Okay, that might be cool if we can get outside. And then what if we can get on top of it? Because <laughs> now we're just kind of... Now we were just kind of laughing inside our heads like thinking like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's not going to happen. And then we actually made it happen. It's just insane. It was just such a great day on Killzone coming up with this. Like, we were on Skype with each other, coming up with ideas, kind of collaborating on how it was going to work. He kind of found the way outside the map, and then I kind of found a way how to get on top of it and get on top of the whole thing. So it was kind of a group effort, kind of half and half. So as you see, now that we pissed it off enough, it actually brings its leg up way up here on the cliff. And this so happens that when it brings its leg up on the cliff, it makes a great angle for you to actually incline. So when its head is on a specific angle, it leg relaxes on a slant that you can actually just run up like this and look how high we are now. We are pretty much just a foot away. So when it's on this side, right to the indent of it, jump to the right of it, and you should be able to jump on top of it. And now look at this. We are on top of the entire mauler, which is quite insane. Like, it's just amazing how this is even possible. And I'm actually going to be able to take out this whole boss battle on top of it. I'm going to basically kill it while riding this thing till the very end, which is quite amazing. So that's where I was down there, those little itty bitty bunkers down there, as you can see. Pretty much like looks like everyone's like ants down there at this point. It's just incredible how high you got and on top of, of a moving machine. Like most moving things, especially outside of maps, are usually fake most times. It's just incredible. But yeah, I, like this this video in general is just amazing to anyone who watches it. That's why I was main, like telling you guys to watch it. You know, if you haven't ever played Killzone, that I highly recommend playing this, like or just watching this video. It's just entertaining to watch. Even just one of those glitches that's just like that's just great how glitching can come to mind. Because some glitches do get boring, not that special. But when you come across things like that, it's actually even entertaining to like a whole audience of gamers, not just glitchers. Cause it's just cool how you can like, actually glitch on top of this thing and take it out while you're on top of it. So you can pretty much walk across, you have to be careful of a few spots, some things kind of lie to you about some areas that look like they're kind of like pieces, cause they can't make everything perfectly like shaped right, cause it is a bit of an odd shaped machine, so it's kind of hard to kind of determine where like the barriers are to it that match the design of it and like the texture of it. But for the most part, you will get the hang of it. You will get checkpoints. Like I, I got a checkpoint right when I was on the side of the cliff, which is a pretty good spot to get a checkpoint. Like, okay, now right now, the problem is this is one issue. Is the game pretty much stops right now because right now the mauler wants you to be inside the map. Because right now it it cools down as if it died, but then it kind of fakes it fakes it and then kind of wakes back up. But the problem is, is it only does that when you're inside the map. It won't wake back up unless you're inside the map. So right now, we have the Mauler completely paralyzed and a bit of a sleeping mode right now. So it's doing nothing right now. So, what I thought of when I was doing this glitch, because me and Sono found it together. Um, so it's kind of like both forever. But anyways, um, so what I thought of is, what is there any part of it that's sticking inside the map that can kind of fool it that I'm actually inside? So I jumped down on its knee here climb down its leg it just so happens that part of its foot sticks inside the map so I'm just gonna sit just a little itty bitty inside the map and watch this thing's gonna come to live because it thinks I'm inside the map if it did if I wasn't inside the map it wouldn't activate at all I just have to kind of find a sweet spot and wait for it all right it thinks I'm inside the map see the little artillery coming out okay wait here for a bit till it starts firing a lot of bullets and then just book it and then right here, now this is where it gets tricky because you really have to start balancing this thing like crazy. But um, anyways, as you guys can see, I haven't really been around on the channel for a while. I know it kind of sucks because since I'm like the leader of the channel, I should be around more often. I'm going to try. I know I keep saying it over and over and over, but I am going to be trying throughout the week to actually be on. Plus, by the end of April, I am done school and I have four months dedicated to gaming. I have nothing else to do, so it's perfect. So right here, as you can see, I just kind of skipped forward the video, but just come from that leg. Once the leg raises up enough, you can jump over to the next leg. In this leg, you only have one chance to go out. It's going to raise its leg up once, and you're going to take the opportunity to jump over to this like little tail end of it. And here, you can kind of take a break if you want. Just kind of sit on top of this little bridge type thing. Just kind of admire the view of this thing. Just kind of see how amazing this is. And, um, and then you're going to be hopping over to the next leg, taking out the next cooling panel as well as many turrets on the side of it which are a bit of a bitch to come across. 
because you literally don't have many bullets. That's why I, if I didn't go grab that ammo like I did at the beginning when I said, oh, I should probably go grab more ammo, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Because you need, literally need all the ammo. Because I have to take out all these turrets with this thing. And I still need to have enough to take out two more cooling vents, which is hard. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had to cough. Uh, okay. So yeah, I'm basically halfway through this semester right now. So I only have six more weeks, basically. And then I have four months off on, like, high school when you only have, like, two months summer. So I'm going to have a four-month time dedicated to just my game. Which is perfect. Obviously, I'll be doing things throughout there, but I'll also be on to a daily day basically. So, as you see, I take out the next cooling vent. Now, here, I'm gonna have to take a big sprint over. I'm just gonna kind of skip the video because I kind of had to fix something during this point. So, just take a big sprint here and just jump down to its front le front leg end. Basically, just went around the whole machine at pretty much 360. We were on. This was the foot I came on when I jumped on to activate again when it was in that little sleeping mode. Now I start calling in drop ships and people, you can start shooting them a bit for now, I'm going to go do that while I'm waiting for the machine to move again, because right now the machine is kind of chilling out while you're still killing these things inside the map, but unfortunately they're kind of, looks like they're retreating away from you, because they're kind of going the opposite direction of where you should be. Because you're outside the map, and they're going inside the map. But um, yeah, I really hate that, like, because I'm not trying to become like most like leaders of clans, where they kind of like, most leaders, because I know a lot of glitching clans lately, like the leaders haven't really been around to actually help out the clan. I don't want to become that, and I'm not becoming that at all. I do want to be here, I do want to be active. I'm not doing it for the money or anything, I'm just doing it for the pure enjoyment of glitching and having fun of it and showing you guys and helping you guys out. I'm just a helpful person, I just like other people. I don't know why. I just enjoy it. And I love sharing these things with you, especially glitches like this right now. Like, this is just incredible. So, um,. Yeah, I just want to let you guys know I will be around for four months in about six weeks, and I'm going to be start coming throughout the weeks also, because I want to be able to help out the clan and can do my part and contribute as much as I can. So I'm going to be hopefully going to be a lot more glitches coming up soon. We got a bunch of cool glitches coming up for you. And uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please subscribe and have fun glitching. That's it. It's down. Unbelievable. <laughs> Not that.